Today, I'm gonna do a little demonstration on a DIY kit that I sell. It's called um, the Resin Wave. So it's made with glass um, and resin on a picture frame. I have it, I have a little white canvas underneath it just so you could see. Um, also, my light's kind of in the way. But it's on a picture frame that we take the back of the frame, um, the like the, the cardboard and stuff off the back, and we caulk the glass into the frame. Oh my gosh, um, my light has that little round. <laughs> you see that? It's funny. Let me see if I can turn that off. See if that would help. Okay, that's better. Oh, you still see the reflection, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, <laughs> um, so let's get the kit together. So what comes in the kit is under your frame. So you're gonna put it like this. You wanna use, you're placing the items on the top part of the frame, like the front side. So this is would be the back. And you can see the front um, obviously is the front. So you'll add, put your picture of your wave underneath your frame so you have a guideline. I'm trying to get the light. Oh, that's a little dark, but much better without the reflection. Let's see. Is it? I don't know. I think so. Um, you have instructions, written instructions a plate that you'll add all of your shells, um, blue, some blue glass, some white and red glass, white and tablecloth that comes with it that you'll put on your table. I don't need to use that today. Um, some gloves a mixing cup and a spoon, a picture of what the original wave looked like, a sticker, a Piscato e Amor sticker that you can put anywhere, um, a little bit of sea glass, and your resin. So your resin is wrapped up. You have part A, and part B, and you'll unwrap those when we'll, I'll, I'll tell you when to unwrap those. So what I'm gonna do first is just kind of get all my materials out. So I'm gonna add a little bit of like some blue glass to my plate, just so I have some idea of what I'm working with. And you can be very specific about how you want to lay this out. I'm going to do it pretty fast just so that this video is not two hours long. Um, so I'm going to, oh, I also, it's a good idea. You're going to lift your picture frame off the table a little bit. If you don't have anything to lift it off with, so I'm using these like little tripod things. Um, you could just use your tablecloth, it'll come right off, but I like to lift it off a little bit, just in case some of the resin gets on the edges. I don't want it to stick to my table. So I'm putting those little tripods right on the corners of the frame. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna start laying out my pieces. It's up to you how you want to do it. Like I said, you can be very particular and specific about how you want to lay out your pieces, or you could just throw it on like I'm doing right now. I'm just throwing this on just so, like I said, this video is not five hours long. Well, two hours, <laughs> whatever, so. Kind of getting all my blue pieces into my way. <laughs> like I said, you don't have to dump it on like I'm doing. I'm just dumping it on so I can kind of hurry along this video a little bit.
I want some pieces coming off the wave, so that's why I'm like it would be like um, sea foam. You can make your glass as thick as you want. I mean, like layering your glass as thick as you want, or you can um, have it a flat sheet. I like to layer. I like to have it a little bit of 3D. Okay, I'm gonna continue laying out my pieces. And I like a little bit um, of the different colors in there, so I'm gonna leave that. I'm being very particular. All right, I'm going to put my sea glass pieces on last. It's up to you. I just want them to show a little bit more. I might not even want the sea glass pieces. I kind of like how, um, how shiny it is without them. And I'm also going to add my shells on. I don't want very many shells on mine. There's a couple of these bubbles. And I added some small bubbles in your kits too. All right, I'm gonna add, put this on my paper plate so I can find my little bubbles. I'm gonna pass on the sea glass, I think. I'm not digging it on mine. But it's up to you. You make yours yours. Remember, there's no mistakes. into my mixing cup and I am going to stir gently getting all the sides stirring it all around for exactly three minutes so let's start a timer and we're going to stir this for three minutes don't stir aggressively the more aggressive you stir the more bubbles you'll get so let's start our timer three minutes we are doing Okay, so that was like the longest three minutes of your life, right? So I have it all mixed up. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm not gonna just pour it on my glass. I'm gonna drizzle. And I don't care if I get um, drizzles on the edge of my frame because I think it kind of looks like sea splash, um, splashing onto it. So it doesn't bother me. So you don't have to be super careful unless you want to. I'm gonna start from the corner and I'm just drizzling to make sure I get all the glass. It will spread a little bit, but I think that's fine. I think it looks like water when it's dry. You can also do this with no glass, just you know, put resin straight on, color your resin using different pigments. There's so many fun projects you can do with resin. And I'm just drizzling it on. The resin that I like to use is art resin. It has, in my opinion, the best thickness. It's not too runny, I guess. <laughs> um, and it also has a really nice um, UV protective, um, which means that it won't turn yellow when you, if you put this in the sunlight. Like, and these look really, really pretty in a window.
So I don't know if you can see, but I'm just drizzling it on. You may not use all of this resin. Or you might, it's up to you of how much resin you want on the rest of your frame. I like just to put it on where I'm doing my wave and let it spread out a little bit to the rest of the glass. I don't like covering my whole glass with the resin. Um, like I said, because it, I think that the way the resin looks as it dries on the freight on the glass makes it look like water. It's so beautiful. It's such a fun project. All these little baubles I have like off to the side, I'm just gonna coat a little bit of resin on them. Um, the question I get a lot is how do you know if you've <laughs> covered everything? And my answer is you won't until you lift it up. <laughs> and you wanna leave this flat for 24 hours until it dries. Um, and you can lift it up and see if there's any pieces that have fallen out after that. But I like to wait 48 hours um, to let it completely cure before I hang it on the wall or in a window. So if you can see, I'm kind of drizzling off to the side. I'm actually drizzling a lot because I want to add my starfish and sand dollars. Remember I told you you should wait to add those to last. So the bubbles don't really bother me and you'll see that you'll have bu bubbles as well. For a piece like this, um, the bubbles don't bother me, but I am gonna show you how to heat it up if the bubbles are really bothering you. I'm just gonna make sure I have it all this glass where it's really thick, like where I've um, added layers and layers of glass. I'm just putting a little bit more resin there. I'm just gonna use it all. If you don't use all of yours, I would dispose of your resin cup outside or put it in the trash and then um, take that trash outside. It does have a little bit of an odor. So I'm gonna take my gloves off now because I don't wanna contaminate my starfish and sand dollar. All right, I'm gonna just, so I have a little sand dollar, I'm gonna put, and you don't have to use either the starfish or the sand dollar. I mean, I like to put things up in the corner. So I actually think I'm gonna do a little bit, my little starfish up there. And I don't know if I'm gonna use my, okay, I'll do a sand dollar just to show. Let's see. Just put it right here. So there's already resin there. So I'm not worrying about, I don't know if I like that. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna take it off a little bit. So you see that resin kind of on the back of it? I'm gonna just put it down here somewhere. There, that's nice. No, there. Well, I don't know. Ta-da! And if I wanna put my other one, let's see. I don't think I will. It's up to you though, you can load it up with um, everything. So now I'm just gonna um, heat it up a little bit to get the bubbles out. For this part, you can use just like a household lighter. Um, I have a big torch because I make really large resin pieces and it's um, helpful to get the bubbles out with the resin. Um, so I just lit it up and all I'm doing is coming close to my piece and it gets all the little air bubbles out. I don't want to heat too much because it could burn. 
so that's it. Ta-da! So you're just gonna leave this flat for at least 24 hours. Um, like I said, I like to leave it flat for 48 hours until it completely cures. Working inside um, rather than outside works the best if we have high, a high humidity day. Um, but it's spring day like today here, it's like in the 60s um, and beautiful and no humidity and no moisture in the air, not gonna rain. You could certainly do it outside or in your garage. Have fun. Thank you so much. Bye.